Steve, we're looking ahead to our UEFA Youth League game with Borussia Dortmund. How much are the lads looking forward to that? Well, you know, we've, we've done the last little bit of preparation today. Um, you know, we've had a long time to know that this big game's coming up. The lads are in a great place. Um, I think not only the, the last few reserve games, we've managed to play most of the under-19s as a group. They've, they've went really well. But probably more so having a lot of the lads involved with the first team over the last few weeks. So, you know, I think mentally we... We couldn't be in a better place. You've you've had you know a stimulus of lads going up and training with the first team, playing with the first team. You know the last couple of reserve games and even the, the younger lads at under eighteen, really last you know six seven games, turning it around and 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 winning games and performing well. So the lads that's going to supplement the the team tomorrow, uh, doing really well. The the current under nineteens and the lads that have played up, uh, all all going well. Yeah, because there's been some time between the, the previous round against FC Non and, and the game tomorrow against Dortmund. How encouraging has it been for you that a lot of those lads have got games for the dev squad and also for the first team as well? Well, ultimately, you know, we're looking forward to this game tomorrow, but it's not really about that for us. You know, it's really about the goal to push players into the first team. And we've seen that over the last few games, which has been amazing. Not only to have them on the bench, but some of them to get onto the pitch and have a big effect. So that that's the real thing that we're working towards the the, the European tournament and going as far and hopefully we go another step tomorrow night. That's that's another um, another little carrot, I suppose, for the players to stay in it and, and perform. But the the main objective is to get players in the first team, and we've done that. And the, the players deserve credit for that because they've grabbed their opportunity when it's came along. Yeah, definitely. And it's been some journey the UEFA Youth League so far up next is Dortmund, one of the top academy sides in Europe. What kind of challenge do you expect from them? Massive. You know, we, you've touched on it there. That they're, you know, they've got they're a big club first and foremost. But I think the way that they run their club, you know, is very much, you know, development based. You know, getting players through the domestic academy buying players from other European clubs, you know, taking them in to their, 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 their kind of later stage of the academy, pushing them into the first team, you know, showcasing them, performing and selling them. And, and that model, I think, is there to, for everybody to see. So for us to be against one of the best developers, if not the best, um, was a great challenge, but one that we relish because, you know, we're in a good place and I think it'll be a cracking game. Yeah, five and a half thousand tickets sold already at Easter Road. How much will the fans play their part tomorrow? Well, massively, the, the last couple of games, you know, when we've played at Easter Road, I think it's really shocked, and I said that post-match, it shocked the opposition when we had so many fans and how vocal they were, and that really gave our boys an edge and gave a, a little bit more energy, a bit more drive. And then I think, really, that that's what the, the players don't get in a reserve match or a normal youth match. They don't get the fans that, that, that know their names, the fans that are, are actually there, you know, singing and beating drums and, and getting right behind them. So hopefully the fans can be as good as, as they've been in the last two games because that really, really added something and help, helped us get those ties over the, over the line. Yeah, just finally, what will be your message to the lads ahead of kick-off? Just, just go and play the way we know we can. We, you know, we, we don't, we, we respect Dortmund, we don't fear them. Uh, and we know that if we play at the top of our game um, then we can be in the next round if we don't then a quality side like this you know will, will, will really give us a hard time but I don't expect that I think our, our kind of mental side the way we you just get a feel for it and I think we're in a good place and I expect us to go on and give the fans lots, lots to cheer about tomorrow night Appreciate your time Steve good luck Thank you